The view from atop L'Alpe d'Huez, seemingly typical of countless scenes in these spectacular Alps. Unless this is your vantage point, the winding road to the top in the most feared stretch of the entire Tour de France. And prior to the start of stage 10, Miguel Indurain, graciously spending time with his fans, hoping to recover quickly one day after his charge up the mountain in La Plana. Onse's Alex Zula hopes to have another good day along with the rest of the notable climbers like Richard Varenk wearing the Key in the Mountain polka dot jersey and Italy's Marco Pantani, one of the finest climbers in the Tour de France. And Tony Romager expected to challenge Indurain and finds himself well off the lead. Miguel is going strong like every year, like the last two, three, four years. It's me who is going slow. Huh? I don't understand it because Normally I was in good condition in the, before of the Tour de France. The problem is always when you are behind, it's getting always harder than in the front because you don't, you're losing a little bit of motivation. You don't know why you are going so slow and that's the problem. And with stage 10 underway, the peloton travels through the scenic narrow roads of the Alps. And it's a chance for the top riders like Indurain to conserve energy before the three major climbs ahead. And they have become legendary in Tour de France history. The first, called the Madeleine, has already captured its first victim. Yevgeny Berzin abandons the race, ends up in his team car, and he will be done until next year. Here with the action, Bill Leggett and Paul Sherwin.